continuing our um, insights into meta human and how to be timeless how to be timeless there was a period in infancy when your experience was original and authentic you were too young to interpret the world on your own all your development was occupied with the basics of walking talking exploring the world and so on let's call this pre-story pre period of life William Blake divided one group of poems into songs of innocence and songs of experience, which were a non-biblical narrative of the fall from grace. Like the romantics who were to follow and who idolized him, Blake believed that the fall didn't occur to Adam and Eve, rather it happened to children as they lost their innocence. The fall was repeated the fall was a repeated experience, generation after generation. What Blake saw in innocence was a fresh, simple, lyrical and joyous perspective on the world. The tone is set in one of the most famous songs of innocence, The Lamb, where you can read infant for lamb. Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Gave thee life and bid thee feed by the stream and o'er the mead, give the clothing of delight, softest clothing, woolly bright, give thee such a tender voice, making all the veils rejoice. And now, in contrast to this vision of childhood, childhood Eden, the songs of experience are bitter and dark. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not, my wrath did grow. And I watered it in fears, night and morning with my tears. And I, and I sunned it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wiles. And it grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine and into my garden stole when the night had veiled the pole. In the morning glad I see my foe outstretched beneath the tree. The mind forged manacles of the divided mind, the separate mind.